Well, I, there's, uh, I've been putting out some videos for quite a while about giants in the earth and, and I did a lot of studying and I did a lot of the um, scientific work, the DNA analysis and CAT scans and we recreated the chemistry, what creates feldspar, uh, which is what these things transition into um, in mud fossils and, and all that stuff and, and, um, and it's pretty pretty certain of what I'm talking about and these particular things that you're seeing here this is all tendons of creatures that are uh, fossilized and uh, in this mud fossil process and they turn into basalt columns and the reason that all of these little things are separated in these basalt columns is that these are what's called tendon fibrils and the fibrils are completely encased in their own sheaths every single one of them in a bloody uh, a very thin film that separates it so that they can slide back and forth on their own in your body or in a creature's body so that they're flexible. But literally inside your body you are made of stone. You are made of the exact identical same thing that is in this stuff. It's limestone, calcified uh, limestone really is what's in your body. It's collagen type 1 which is, um, is the bone material. And, um, and, and you can see the red iron of the blood in the sheathing. And I mean, it's, it's very, very, very apparent. And the only reason that they're separated like this has nothing to do with wood. Uh, these are, and, and, and they, these lay down in all kinds of different ways. And, and some of them are flat, some of them are all different directions and things. And I'll show you some of that. But uh, it has nothing to do with trees. And I, I, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's uh, theory. And there are some gigantic trees. And you guys may find huge trees, but that's not what we're talking about here. It's a totally different chemistry. And, and I'm, uh, well, hold on a second. I'm a chemist. And uh, hold on. I did this for my whole life. Working with crystals and and uh, and bonding and how things are made. I'm I'm a I'm I'm a material chemist. I know all this stuff very very well. And, and this is not something that I, I am unfamiliar with or that you can learn quickly or forget. You can't forget this once you. This whole book is completely filled with all of this kind of stuff. And there's nothing here that your average guy does on a daily basis, except me. <laughs> So that's what we got. And trust me, this is what it is. And now trees have a totally different chemical uh, um, petrification process called mineralization of the um, organic matter. And it bonds with, with other particulates that are in um, the, the, the water and so forth. And they try to get stability. It's called opal A and opal CT, I believe. Totally different chemistry. Just like you can't get blood out of a tree. You get blood out of a rock, though, and I can show you that. All right, what we see on the earth is this part that comes up. This is as it starts to grow and grow and grow and grow, and this is a fully developed. And here's what you end up with. You end up with this red, slurpy, really, and I'll show you this in a minute, and on both sides, and in the middle, heavily mineralized, and that is the plagioclase. These are th those are the little plates I showed you, and they're mineralized heavily. And uh, around it is this bloody investment that keeps this from chewing away at your bone. And these are the fibers that come out, just like I showed you in the other thing. Now, this is what people need to study: is the is the the, 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 the molecules, and it says here the mineralogy of uh, mineralogy of basalt characterized by Calcic, that means calcium, plagioclase feldspars, and pyroxenes. That's exactly correct. Those are the things that tendons turn into on during the mineralization process. And I have copious amounts of them. Uh, accessory minerals are present, which is the things, that, but they, they include iron oxides. And this is blood. Blood is iron. And, and there's titanium, there's all kinds of metals in there, magnetite, limonite, and, and, and the oxides of different minerals, and that is what makes up the, the, the body that you have, and as it decomposes and, and, and try, tries to take on stability, it mixes with other chemicals and that are in the, the water that's there, but it can only mix with certain ones. They don't just all run in there or anybody grab anybody else. No, they have to have an exact alignment of, of their crystalline structure and they will always try to find 
the best partner to bond with and you, that's just the way nature works so if you know how to read these chemical signs you 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 can't really dispute the things that you see and that's the way i see things i see things as chemicals i see things as molecules i don't see a big tree trunk i see molecules what are they made of what's it and that's what is missing in chemistry and in, in, in science today there's no chemistry it's everything's guesses and Oh, it must be this, it must be that, and, 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 you know, and, and they deny everything else. It has the chemistry. I have DNA tests, three of them. I have seven CAT scans. I have things coming out of my ears, and they don't like the results because these are giant humans, and they will not accept, they won't look. But they're certainly willing to accept the Big Bang and all these silly things that have absolutely no reality and no, no support whatsoever. It's just guesses. It boggles my mind. And, and, and again, these people are not free to speak, so I am speaking of one. You should look at this, the world is looking at this, and teachers don't look at this, and it's very, very shameful to the ones that turn their back on, on knowledge. That's all I have to say. All right, this is the tendon of anatomy, and it comes down with a zillion, bazillion of these fibrils until they get down. You see them at the end here? They're, look down there, they're 15 angstrom units. These things are like almost nothing, but in these creatures that are giant from the past, they're enormous. Now, these will turn into hexagons as they crystallize, and that's due to the angularity of the crystals in, in these uh, 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 particular materials and I'll show you how blood crystallizes it it's, it's not a separate piece but I'll show you that right now all right this is what's called limonite and this is the uh, the vein and that's the artery part which is red and that was a vein and that's why it's leaking out of here not cut across now I'm going to show you how this crystallizes you see over here I don't know if you can see that or not but this is what happens and it's exactly the same thing as basalt. And these are the two arterial and, and uh, the vein that's in this. And this was a living creature at one time. And I'm going to show you when they talk about plagioclase. Hold on. This is what they refer to. And I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind. All right, this right here, this is like a, a sharp white, and it has little lines, and it looks like a record. And, and that is plagioclase. And that is from a tendon strap. This right here is the tendon strap, and this is the bloody investments on the side. This is the plagioclase material below that grabs in just like claws, jaws of death. <laughs> and here they are. Those are those jaws of death. Now, if you look around the world, you're going to see this structures everywhere that you look. On the seashores, they have caves, and they can dig right into that. I didn't dig that out. That just fell out of there because what it is, it's their bloody investments between the layers of tendon. And it's just missed. Here's another one of my specimens, and these are the teeth. Those are the little teeth that I showed before. They stick right up like that, and they grab and they hold. Now this has been eroded away, but that is just this is the ball of what I will just show you in a second. And that's all highly mineralized, and around it was all red slurpy blood that it keeps this from gnawing away at the natural tissues. And I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to ask you to look extremely carefully at this. Remember I showed you the round ball of the investment that goes into the bone? That is it. This is part of the stalk that comes up above. And you see those blood supplies there? Look at that extremely careful, that structure, because I'm going to show you that in a second. An identical structure, and, but the other one, wasn't. this got burnt or something. The other one, this would have been coming off like this, and then it bubbles out into your muscle. It, it, this is the, the emplacement in your bone. It comes off with a stalk that is thin, and then it expands out into your muscle. Exactly as Comet 67P does. 67P is made of the identical same materials as tendons. It also gives off 12 different organic molecules, which is identical to meat smoke. Identical, not close, identical. They're um, a polycyclic hydrocarbons, I believe is the name. And they have amines in them, and the uh, CDC calls them indoor 
uh, carcinogens caused by cooking meat indoors. <laughs> this is what it is. That and I've, I have a this is this right here is all the fibrils. This is all the plagioclase. This is the ferrous oxides and the the um, uh, plagio uh, the, the feldspars. And then it transitions into the muscle where it broke off. I have a video on this. And I mean, if you, if you look at the chemistry, nobody can deny this. It's not deniable. And they won't talk to me either. I've tried to contact everybody that's involved in this, and there's never been one response.